Hey, can you calculate the cost of a labor for a specific construction work? My name is Isil Khan and in this video, we will be learning about the cost calculation for labors. In order to calculate the cost of a labor for a specific construction work, the first thing we need is to determine the number of labor for total work. And of course, we can do this from the given table, right? I have taken this screenshot from a nice book, Estimating and Costing in Civil Engineering. I think that's written by uh, Bin Datta. Actually, I just forgot the name of that other no problem, right? This table can be found in many quantity serving books. Like you can find this uh, table, of course, from the uh, DAE books. Also, uh, from the Estimating and Casting, that's written by BN Datta, right? That's in Indian author, I think. So, this table is used to calculate or to determine the number of labors, right? And actually, this is not a short table. This is a long table covering a few pages, like two, three, uh, up to five pages right so this table can be used to determine the number of labors for the total work and the labor means i mean the labor may be mason coolie or waterman and remember the mason is a skilled person whose job is to belt with stone or brick and this is not only the work of mason right mason can do pcc rcc etc right and the coolie is just of course an unskilled worker this word is mostly used for Asian countries, right, or for Asian workers. And waterman is just a waterman, right, also known sometimes by HT. So once we determine the number of labors, then of course we can guess their wages, right? And this can be guessed from the local workers' wages. For example, we'll just visit to an industry or any construction side and ask the employees their wages. That's just simple, right, in estimation method, no problem. And once we have their wages, then of course we can multiply the number of labors with their wages so we can get the total labor cost that's the basic concept right I hope you understand what's the basic concept for calculating the total cost of a labor so I'll just do an example to understand the problem little more right let's say this is example first and we are asked to calculate labor cost for 15,000 CFT first class brick work in ground floor this data is actually just enough to determine the labor cost, right, per 15,000 CFT first class brick work. So I'll come directly into the solution. And in the solution, the first thing we'll calculate the number of labors. And let's focus on the mason first. How many or how much masons do we need per 15,000 CFT first class brick work? Of course, we can take the number of masons from that table. Remember that table, right? If you look to the table and read the serial number first, that's just for the brick work and first class brick work in cement mortar, lime mortar, right, in building. And of course, the first thing is in foundation and plan. And then comes, of course, the ground floor. And if you look to the mason column, that's just 2.5 masons required per 100 CFT. Now, if we need 2.5 masons per 100 CFT, then how much do we need per 15,000 CFT work? So we'll multiply this ratio with 15,000. Just simple, right? And if you do little math with this, we'll get, of course, the number of masons equals 375 numbers. That's just simple. And we can do the same thing for the coolies and uh, watermans, of course. Like, if you look to the coolies column, that's just 4 plus 5 by 6. So if we need 4 plus 5 by 6 coolies per 100 CFT, then how much do we need them for 15,000 CFT work? That's just the same thing, right? We did for the masons. So we'll get, of course, the number of coolies equals 725 numbers. And it is a huge value, right? If you look to the mason numbers, those are 375 masons. Who does bring such a number of masons to a work? That's just a huge number. But remember, that's not the point, right? We don't just invite 375 masons for a specific work. This is just for calculating the cost of a labor, right? So don't just challenge the number of masons or coolies, right? That's just for the calculating the cost of a labor. And next comes water mains. If you look to the water mains column, of course, we need 0.75 water mains per 100 CFT. Now, if we need 0.75 water mains per 100 CFT, then how much do we need per 15,000 CFT work? So that's just the same thing we did for the mason and coolies, right? We'll get, of course, 113 number of watermans. 
So finally, we got the number of masons and now we'll guess of course their wages, right? Per day, per capita or per day, per number. Just look at your countries, masons, coolies and watermen and guess their wages. Like normally here in Pakistan, masons takes about 1500 RS and of course coolies takes 800 and then watermen takes 500 RS. And what should be their cost for the total? We just multiply the economy of number and wages. That's just simple, right? Like for example, if we need the cost of masons, we just multiply the number which is 375 with the wages which is 1500. That's simple, right? We'll get the total cost for the mason. And we do the same for the serial number 2 and 3 just the same, right? We did for the masons. That's just simple. And if we add them, right, these three guys together, we get the total cost of labor, which is double one double nine triple O R S. That's so simple. So this is how we can calculate the cost of labor for specific construction work. And uh, at the end, make sure you hit that bell icon and never miss another update from an engineer voice YouTube channel. Thank you dears for watching, see you next time, Hello, salam.